Hello, today we will be discussing how to perform the Ohm's Law, KCL, and KVL lab that we designed. For starters, let's talk about how to set up the DAC. You gotta take the DAC here itself and you gotta hook it up to the breadboard by pushing these two sides in together. And you should be able to hear a click when it goes in. Alright, that's good. Next thing you need to do is hook it up to the computer with the cable provided. That's Alright, now once you do this, you need to open up the um, digital multimeter. So you should go into your computer, search your computer for the NIL this, and it should just pop up and then open that up. And then it's DMM on the left there, and then here it is. Alright, for starters, we're going to talk about the resistors that we need in this lab. For this you're going to need three 1 kilo ohm resistors, one 2.2 kilo ohm resistor, and one 3.3 kilo ohm resistor. So I have them all here, but for starters you should take each resistor and measure the actual resistance in the circuit. So you're going to take each resistor and you're going to set it up here. To measure resistance, you need to take these two cables here and hook them up to the deck. The black one will always go in the middle port, and the red port will go into the left port if you're measuring voltage or resistance, and it will go into the right one if you are measuring current. Since we are measuring resistance, it will go into the left port. Now up on the screen, you need to click the symbol for resistance. And then for range, you need to go within 20 kilo ohms so that it will measure close to what the values are. And then you need to hit run. And then you take the two prongs and you put them on the different sides of each resistor. And then on screen, it will give you the actual resistance of what it is. For this one, it's 0.9 kilo ohms, and this is our one resistor. So do that for each of the resistors and then record the actual resistance that you found and then set them up into the, your circuit. And this is how the resistors, it should look something like that when you set them all up. These will be your three 1 kilo ohm resistors, this will be your 2.2 and this will be your 3.3 and they'll also be in a picture in your lab. Now, to measure your voltage to set this up, first you need to hook up the voltage to the 5 volt constant on the DAC and set that as your voltage. Then, you, for your negative side of voltage, you need to hook it up to the ground, which is right below the constant. And then you need to set your Set it up so that it works with it. And this should be what the circuit looks like in the final. Now, the next thing you should do is measure the voltage across the entire circuit so you know the value of V1. To do this, you should measure from the beginning of the circuit, which is at R1 here, and then at the end, which is pretty much any one of these here. And on screen, in order to measure it, you should set you should click here to measure the DC voltage and the range 60 volts, that should be fine. Click run. And something out. No. We get about 4.7 volts, which is about to the value of V1 for this circuit. So you should record the value that you get for this also. The next thing you're want, going to want to do is measure the voltage across each resistor. To do this, you place one of the prongs on one side of the resistor and another one on the other side. And then you'll get an approximate voltage drop across each resistor shown up there. Do this for each resistor and then write down, the, record the values that you find. Now, in order to measure current, you must first take the red cord out of the left port and put it into the right port. Also on screen, you need to change the approximation to amps 
and then change the range to about 200 milliamps. Now, in order to measure current, you need to actually break the circuit up. So, you'll take a resistor, out, this one out away, and you'll put a cord in there where it should be. And then you'll need to wrap these two. You need to connect this one to this resistor so that the current has to pass through the deck in order to go through the rest of the circuit and then you should get a reading for your current. You must do this for uh, each resistor that you have and then record the record each value that you get. Once you have all of the values of the voltage and current drops, you can perform the rest of the calculations on your paper that you need for this lab. This is all the technical stuff that you need to do for it, and that's it.